Hi YouTube, Denise here from Seuss Art, and um, we're gonna we're gonna start off where we finished yesterday. Uh, we did the resin. I did the resin. I don't know why I keep saying we. I guess it's because I'm I feel like I'm I'm a part of you. So we did the resin yesterday, and today what I did was I added uh, more dimension to the tree. I hit it up with a hot glue gun, and uh, that gives us more thickness up in here. And I gessoed the parts that I had uh, put back on there. So now we're gonna paint them. And what's really cool is you get to see uh, the first part where I painted the glue and uh, the, the colors I used. So I'm using pearlescence here. And uh, I mixed uh, pink, green, and blue pearlescence together. And it's a absolutely gorgeous color. I don't know if you can see it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's going to be translucent. So, you know, I'm just going to put some of this on there so I don't waste it. And hit up my sponge. I'm using uh, Magic Erasers. These things are very cool too when you're doing glue art because you can get those little strings and it's so difficult to pull them out and they can really um, mess your image up, but like that one. <laughs> but the magic eraser will literally pluck those out and uh, take care of that problem for you. So, okay, look, we're gonna do the dab now. So uh, this, is, uh, this is the tree, take four. It's, um, going to become, I don't know, I really, did, did, have you ever seen that, that movie with Robin Williams, bless his heart, um, where his wife dies and he goes to find her and he goes to look for her and um, they're in this, this, like, the colors and the beauty is just off the charts. I was really struck by that film. I, you know, um, but my memory is all for the film and not for the name of the film, but I, I think I have the I have the DVD. So it's somewhere in there. I don't know if I could do that. So I have places where I don't have um I don't have extra glue. Like parts of trees that aren't like additions to the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean where my my blue is going right now because we want to make that unique. You are so unique. Okay, so I You know what I'm thinking, guys? Because this is such a big project now and there's so many different layers. I really think I'm going to grab a um because before, if you remember, it didn't matter where the color went because I was going to create something else. Well, now it matters because I love the color in the back. So I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna grab my favorite. Uh, right, yeah, just, uh, Oh, she a happy brush. Oh my goodness. Matthew. I think we dab 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 like we do with the sponge. Yep. We dab. out of here. I oh, know I'm not that pretty to look at. Almost done. Uh, incidentally, I wanted to let you know that right here, I know you can't see it, 
but um, there was a piece of cardboard that actually uh, from the dust cover I had on here um, buried itself in there and it it couldn't have been more perfect because it was actually taking the same direction as the glue the the design so it it's embedded in the resin and it and so that's where I kind of got the whole idea like let's just add more layers because this way I can fix that <laughs> and I actually really like this this is a oh no it's really cool like I said this is a learning experience for both you and for me but I'm so happy to be able to share it with you because um, I don't know who, who was it Dr. Seuss I don't know if somebody said there's no there's nowhere that you can't go or something like that. You can always just go. Now I got some blue down in there, so my strategy right now is to continue to use the eraser and just go down inside. Oh, look at that. Gone! <laughs> yes. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Get it for yourself. Get it for your art. Get it for your glue. Just get it. Oh wow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up and let you see um, what's going on right now. Because it's probably difficult with this silly camera that I'm using. Uh, or cell phone. But um whoop. Slick. If you look, you can see that we're adding uh, we're adding some colors and shimmers to the epoxy resin um, and glue because uh, it was really solid on the back right now. But um, so we're going to continue with the blue. Then we're probably going to I don't know. I wish I had this live because I would ask y'all what colors you want because for me I really don't care. I <laughs> I love color. Oh, this is really nice, you know. Um, what I like about this the most, and I've never done this before, so you tell me what you think. This is very, this is on top. It is the next layer, and this this green one down here is actually underneath the resin. But doesn't that look so sweet? I mean, it's like this, the, the ones that are underneath the resin give it like some kind of weird depth, I think, that... Um, I really like this. No, I'll, I'll probably never sell that. I'll probably just keep that on my wall. <laughs> but I, I guess if I'm if I'm doing this right, um, the next ones that I make will be even better. Cause you learn from every single thing you do. So did anybody remember the name of that movie yet? Um, where, where wishes are, or something like that. <sighs> where dreams are made, where something is something. I gotta get my head out of there. I know I'm not that pretty. My, my apologies. It's my age. Don't look that good when you're my age. But I got a nice smile. <laughs> okay, so, woo, my gosh, that's good. Um, huh. I can't stop. You know, to be perfectly honest with all y'all right now, with what's going on right now, 
I'm pretty darn sure after I add on another layer of epoxy, I'm gonna do another layer of glue. I am gonna take this tree out of the canvas because that's just what I feel like I need to do is to pull this tree out of the canvas. <laughs> In each layer, a different color of brilliance, don't you think? Different color. Oh, see? Now, me and this uh, watercolor brush have become friends. It's almost getting hard to, to decipher the, the new from what's underneath it. It's a dimensional challenge when you don't even have your glasses. And I do not have my glasses. This is an old prescription that I'm wearing, um, which is probably why I'm not doing a lot of um, fine art uh, alcohol inks because I really can't see. <laughs> so this works out for me. <laughs> Oh shoot, that was thick. So I exam on Thursday next week? This week, Thursday this week. Wow. There's some more down here too. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what you can see as far as colors. Um, but this is doing stuff. Um, the colors I'm currently using. Oh. Which I can't seem to stop. Okay, so, hmm. you know what? I really think I'm going to, um, we're going to end the video, and uh, the next time we see this project, We're gonna do epoxy resin on it, which is gonna be for me in real time. Um, Thirty minutes. So uh, this is part four. I'll see you in part five. <laughs> Let me take you down, show you what's going on. Take it up here so I can watch. All right. So this is a second uh, coat of glue on the original, um, and doing resin last night. And that video uh, precedes this one. And I'm gonna stop right here with the color and everything that I've done and um I think I'm gonna add more tree to this uh I'm gonna do an epoxy resin this evening and add more tree and I'll see y'all on the other side bye